Hey Indie Game fans, December is traditionally a busy month for game coverage due to Game of the Year, so in all that hustle and bustle, a couple of cool games might have gotten overlooked, so here are the top 5 indie games you might have missed, but as always, we will begin with some quick picks worth checking out. Aeon of Sense The Trail is an unapologetic, old-school, first-person, party-based RPG set in a post-apocalyptic desert world with an intriguing story thread and an art style that certainly stands out. Tiny Bird Garden Deluxe is an idle game that is Neko Atsume, but it's all about the cute little birdies instead. Place toys, fill up the feed, and wait for the birds to come. You can dress up the birds with little hats and it just oozes cuteness. Hellfront Honeymoon is a very simplified twin-stick action strategy game that has you taking over nodes on the map to build barracks or turrets and to use these to eliminate your opponent. Fast, slick, and a whole lot of fun. Iris Fall is a creepy puzzle platformer that plays with nightmares and dreams, light and shadow, and again has a very distinct visual look. And finally, Grapple Force Rena is a grappling hook centric action platformer which utilizes the central mechanic very well, since this is even used in combat scenarios. Pleasant pixel art, good controls, and an overall neat little game. Moving on, here are the top 5 indie games you might have missed in December 2018. Sequence Storm self-describes as extreme rhythm action meets futuristic racing and is not wrong in that explanation. This was one of the more intense rhythm games that I have ever played, with a multitude of buttons to press which I felt was new and pretty good, and has a surprisingly interesting story mode about a down-on-his-luck engineer being unwittingly pulled into service for the mega corporations. There are also progression elements and upgrades to the ship, so plenty to love for rhythm game fans. A traditional turn-based roguelike, End Hall impressed me due to the clean pixel art look and the strategic options available, all while keeping it in a tight space in an almost into the breach-like fashion. The huge open world roguelike does scare off many people and I think that this is a great introduction to pull people into exploring this fantastic genre. The story behind Project Warlock is one of the more interesting ones which I came across since this is clearly inspired by old school games such as Doom, Hexen, and Wolfenstein. 
But the twist is that the lead developer is only 19 years old, meaning that the games he was inspired by all launched before he was born. To be able to capture the essence of what made those games great is very impressive, and the pixel art and fast-paced action are the main draws. This, together with Dusk, resulted in a great month for old-school FPS fans. And enter hell to conquer it. Yeah, I feel lucky. Project Warlock. If you have been around games long enough, the inspiration of Battle Princess Madeline is pretty obvious down to the spear throwing animation, and in many ways this holds true to the formula of ghouls and ghosts. Playing as princess seeking revenge on an evil enemy, you jump and fight your way through graveyards, swamps and gigantic boss fights. This plays really well and has a neat real life story as well. Finally, Desert Child is perhaps the most stylish game of 2018 due to its sick beats, pixel art, hoverbike, racing, core gameplay, and a weird world to explore. While a little cluttered and messy in its presentation, which might have caused it to get lost in the shuffle, there's something special about this game which I can't quite put my finger on, but I just know that it is pretty great. There's a whole bike upgrade and customization system to make you more effective in races, and the opportunity to eat delicious looking pixel art food in the game was pretty appealing to me. Oozing style and funk, this thus takes the number one spot of the month. For more indie games you might have missed, check out last month's video or watch my recommended playlist and I will see you after the jump.